Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Stephanie from Magnesium Media. Um, you know me, I like to get in and out of trunks and I was really trying with this one. It's not cutting it. It's not cutting it. Um, I have contortioned myself in many ways. In fact, there's a piece of metal that's like going right up my butt crack right now. Not very comfortable. Hey, oh, no personal problems here. Uh, now I have to figure out how to get out. Hold on. I have to figure out how to get out. Hold on. Hold that thought for a second. What? We're going to see. We're going to watch this. I think the audience at home is going to want to watch you. What are you talking about? Everybody wants to watch I, you. Hold on. Hold on. So Things are gonna... falling out where they shouldn't be falling out. Okay. Hold on. One second. I don't know how I'm going to get these boots over that bumper. <laughs> well, we're going to watch you. So let's do this. Okay. Can I try now? Yep. Okay. This is not going to be easy. Watch your head. Okay, no, I can do this. This is going to be easier than I thought. I think. Except kneeling on that hurts. You should. Hold on. I don't want to be mooning anybody. Don't worry, camera's over here. Okay. <gasps> That's a challenge. Hold on, ready? Thank you, thank you. Okay, I so am to a professional. Anywho, okay, so yes, welcome back. Um, today we are here at Celebrity Cars in Las Vegas, and we are going to be checking out this bad boy. Any guess what this is, guys? This is a 1934 Mercedes Benz 500K replica. Did it belong to the Adams family? No, it didn't belong to the Adams family. You sure it wasn't on the Munsters? No, it wasn't on the Munsters. Okay. Now, this Mercedes-Benz only built, like, I think it was 343 cars, and only 29 were Roadsters. And there how was many? one... Wait, 23 were Roadsters, but how many? 29, 343, I think, there was that was built by Mercedes-Benz, and only 29 of them were Roadsters. Okay. And um, one of the cars was owned by Saddam Hussein. And the other car was owned by a very bad man. Very, very bad man. Let's just say he was German and he had a weird mustache. Let's just call him Strudels. Yeah, Strudels. He owned it. And uh, But if you ever seen you know any of these auctions back in the day, anyone, these cars go for millions upon millions of dollars. But they really are a gorgeous car. Check I mean, out the doors. Yeah, suicide doors. Now, this is They're obviously... A, a replica that was built in the 1990s. They're actually quite heavy. So obviously this has a modern interior because it's a replica. Yeah, they put a new um, radio in there. There's power doors yeah. and, lo I mean, um, power locks windows, and locks. windows. Um, it's got a uh, General Motors 350 motor in it. You know, but I mean, look, compressor. A V8 compressor. But now imagine if this was real. Look at the designs. Look, look at that. Look at the pipes coming out of the engine. Look at the huge headlamps. So you, know, you actually have to imagine you're back in the 30s. Yeah. Okay, you're in the 30s and the only kind of vehicles that you've seen so far, right? Well, yeah, and this, then you see something like this. Yeah, imagine driving down the road in the 30s and you're, you're driving a Chevy, you're driving a Ford, and, you know, the only cars that you really are exciting are Duesenbergs and Packards. Horn? And then, like, oh, here's a German right? car. Are these yeah, the, yeah. for the horn, right? Yeah. Look at this little, right here, little divot. It's like a little seat, like yeah. a little baby seat you can stick when in. When it little... rains, water catches up in there. Mm. All right, come on. Everybody wants to watch you get in and out of this All car. All right, come on. Let's, let's do go. This, okay? So, I mean, but look, we're going to show you the rest of the car in a second, but Stephanie has to climb into the car. And I'm not going to lie. This one, I have my hair up, and this is difficult because I bonked my head before. Let's see if I could do it without bonking. Because of the boots, I got to do this differently. Jeez. I have to be careful because okay. I don't want to damage anything. Okay. Oh, see, I did it again. All right, Brittany. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm like this, too? Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Gotta be careful. Okay. Voila! Look at that. Now, headroom, because look, look at the roof. It, oh. the, look at the roof design. So it lifts up. So I guess, you know, you have a decent amount of headroom. Yeah, but, no, I mean, there's plenty in here. Yeah. But now, it's, this is not a huge car, as you've seen in the trunk, right? It's not a big car, but it's a nice, 
beautiful swooping design. Look at the wire wheels, nice white wall tires. Look at the th uh, running boards. Now, Stephanie was struggling to get over it. Yeah, because look how wide those running it really boards is. Are. But, now, I, mean, I have a question. Yeah. You now, this was a rec replica made yeah. in the 90s, right? Yep. So can, does the seat go back at all? No. It does not. Okay, so me as a driver, I am uncomfortable sitting straight up like this. I would have to be like a little more back. Yeah, but I mean, like, this is a car that you take out for, like, a nice Sunday drive or, like, an evening drive and going out to dinner and stuff like that. You know, right, like, this is a lot of car for the money for somebody because if, you know, original cars, millions of dollars, and you want something that looks great, this is something like it. And imagine ha having an original one. Oh, my God. That would be stupendous. But just look at, look at everything. Look at the design. So, obviously, it's got the General Motors motor in it. Engine, uh, I was going to open this, but... Here, you know let me see if I can. Uh, one second. We just had this open a second ago. Let's try to open this. Stephanie, can you help me? Yes, I can, but it's going to take me a second. Oh, boy, here, guys, want to watch her get out again? This is funny. Oh, that was uh, easy. I'm, it's like practice makes perfect, okay. right? Okay. Let's try to. All right, what open. do you want me to do? We're going to try to open the engine cover. From here? Yep. There From you go. here, okay. All right. Watch just, just a little bit. There you go. General Motors 350 motor in it. Obviously, not a Mercedes engine, but a little bit more reliable than what was in it originally, the original car. This is the kind of car you want to show up to the country club in with a cigar. Oh, well, you 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 love your cigars, too. I do. Now, Never said this. I didn't. What? Never said I didn't. So, here, come over here. Let me tell you. This is the original... Look at this. Right. The original design to these Mercedes grills. This is one you see a Mercedes and be able to spot it from a mile away and say, you know what, that's a Mercedes Benz. Unlike the cars of today, which most of the models that they make no longer have the star on the hood anymore. No, because everybody used to steal them. Well, besides the stealing, they're all blended into the grill. And most of the Mercedes now, you can't tell the difference if it's a Camry, if it's a C-Class, no, an S-Class, right. they all blend in. Well, C-Class and E-Classes look exactly yeah. the same. And even like the S-Class, right? So if you do an S-Class and then you do a double take, the E-Class looks a lot like it. These are when Benzes stood out. Look at that. Look at that shot with the suicide doors open, the, all that chrome, you know. I mean, just, a, I think, an absolute gorgeous car. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, pictures white don't walls. do it. Yeah, the beautiful white walls, the swoop. Look at that. The fenders. I mean, pictures don't do something like this justice. Mm -mm. Look at that. Nice, gorgeous rear end. Looks like a swan tail. Yeah, imagine with the top down. Yeah, with the top Driving down. Driving along, literally especially in this down. weather that we're having now in Vegas. Yeah. It'd be perfect. So, now let's go through the inside of it so we can show you. So, you obviously got some of the 90s Mercedes uh, gear in here. Um, obviously, back your sound system. You got air condition in this car. Hold on, I want to go on the other side because I want to show you something. It's very tedious, but I think it's really cute. Hold on. Okay, look here in the middle. When you turn your blinkers on, I'm not going to do it now, but it's off. But look, they're here yep. in the center, which I, I just think is really cute. Oh, so Stephanie, if you had to um, rate this on 1 to 10, if you're going to drive this, right? Mm -hmm. What would you say? Oh, I would definitely drive it. Are you kidding me? It's great. Well, what do you guys think about this car? But you know what I would do? What? I'd get a smoke machine and I'd put the smoke machine in here so it billows out um, smoke as I drive and I would have like like the red lipstick and I'd have a black wig. What, you trying to be Corella DeVille? No, she's half black, half white under so her hair. So why would you do the black? Because I'm getting like a, like a, a Monsters kind of vibe or a... Adams family. What, what was the Adams family's wife's name? What was it? Uh, Morticia. Morticia. So this, well, it is Halloween. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we should drive this for Halloween. Do you think um, Elvira would drive this? Oh my God! All right? right. Well, that's yeah, that's your Halloween costume, isn't it? I think it's. I think it's really cool. Right, yeah, so I mean, certain cars you wear certain things, like because you just feel it. Like, okay, so it's summertime and you have a Jeep with the doors off. You're gonna wear like shorts and a tank top, right? Well, on this, I feel. So you, for this, you want to dress up like Elvira? I feel gothic in here. <laughs> <laughs> I so, like it. So if a man was the driver, what should he wear? I'm I'm picturing. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say. Say, go ahead. Say it. 
I'm picturing Grandpa from the Monsters. Grandpa Monster? Yeah. Wow, okay. In fact... Because I would drive this and I don't look like Grandpa I Monster. I should Google it because I think he actually drove something similar. No, he didn't. He uh, he drove an American car. You sure about yes, that? Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to look into yeah, it. Okay, all right. I'm so going to have to look into it. if you're Grandpa Monster or Morticia <laughs> Adams or Elvira, we <laughs> Stephanie has just found your car for you. Look at this. All right. On to the next car. Yeah. So, hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Who wants to see her get climb out of this car one more time? I think I'm do. getting better hold at it. You're getting I'm better getting at better it. Better hold, at on, it. Hold, hold that thought. Let's just see. Hold on. Let's see. Go ahead. Let's see this action. Okay. Because of these boots, I actually think the wide ledge is helping me because oh. I can kind of hop like that. And then bring the other leg out. All right. Well, until next time. Yep. Bye. It was a short video this time.